So as you see, I have been invited to join a new Google group. This is my Chromebook group and it has my display name. Um, I don't have an image there yet, but I can add that in time by editing it. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to accept this invitation to the Chromebook group. Just a couple of things to note. Sometimes when you receive invitations to join groups, you get constant email deliveries um, when new posts have been made. And sometimes that might be a little uh, annoying because you get so many emails if it's a very active group. So you might want to change your email delivery preference um, to maybe once a day uh, as opposed to every time you get a new message. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to go in and I'm going to ask for uh, a daily summary. I prefer that um, so I can sit down at my leisure, go through the messages, respond as I wish. Uh, that might be appropriate for this group. So I'm going to go ahead now and click join the group. I'm now in my Chromebook group and if there were previous postings I would see them in this empty white space here and this is where I would click through to read the topics and read the posts that I'm interested in. But there aren't any yet so I think I need to get this thing started. So I'm going to go up and find the big red button that says new topic. Uh, whether we're posts or not, I would look always look for this uh, red button in order to start a conversation. And once I click on that, it almost looks like an email post. So I'm going to continue on by putting in what the subject is. In this case, I'm going to ask uh, a question about displaying uh, Chromebook images to the class. So we're going to just title it Chromebook Display. I have a check here that says email updates to me and I want that because I want to see how people respond to my problem um, in a timely fashion. So uh, let's put the problem here. How do you display your Chrome in the classroom? I have students. share and would like to hear about some options. Thank you. Okay, there's my message. I want to put this out to people in my group. Now I'm just going to go up here and click the post button and my topic has been posted. And I would see um, if other people in my group were doing posts, they would look just like this and uh, sort of line up into this big white box. So I have my initial question there, that's the one, the time in which it was posted. And as people respond to me and additional posts come up, I would see this number change. I'd also know how many people actually open my post to take a look at it. So I've gotten some very, um, I got some great little analytics here to let me know if people are looking at my post. You also notice that this is shared privately. That means this is just staying within the group. When this group was set up, it was set up as a private group. So whoever the initiator uh, wanted to share it with, uh, he or she would select the people that would be within uh, this smaller group. Um, that makes uh, allows you to be a little uh, less concerned about what you put out there and what you read if you know who the people are in your group. So that's how you make a post.